My name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. And you are watching the Rotoscopers YouTube art book review of The Good Dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we are here and we are bringing you another art book review. This time it's Pixar's The Good Dinosaur. This is the most recent Pixar film to be released and the art book that accompanies it. Now, first and foremost, we have to talk about the title and the content of the book. It is called The Art of the Good Dinosaur. Let's, let's start off by saying what the book is. It is just the art. Make art and making of? No, no, no. Just the art. <laughs> making of means words and describing how they made it. Art is just, here's a bunch of art. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy. And, and that's what it is. Yes. So going into the book, do not be expecting to be learning about the background and the <laughs> the tales of drama that go behind this movie because there's a lot of those if you were following this movie at all. Yes, the original director, Bob Peterson, was removed and the release date was pushed back a year and a half. So a lot of story trouble, just a lot of trouble in the production of this film. It ultimately got made. Yay, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, however, I think for that reason, all of this just behind the scenes turmoil, just getting this film out and into production and how, you know, even post-release, how it's done um, and been received... This book doesn't surprise me. Yeah, no, this, not at all. It, it doesn't go into anything. It doesn't talk about the character's development. I think they realize at some point, like, this is just going to be messy if we put mm -hmm. this in here, and it's going to make us look bad. It's not going to tell a good story. There really isn't, you know, I'm sure the, the story behind the scenes was like this, and it would have been a bit hard to follow, I think, and they just, just wiped their hands clean <laughs> of it, and they said... Okay, we got to do an art book. Everyone expects it. If we don't do it, eh. so just make it an art book. Just put art in there and go. And that's what they did. And that's one reason why I really just, I'm going to spoil you right now. I don't really love this book. Be I do like what's in it. You know, the art is very beautiful to look at, but it really is just final designs in art form or concept art form. There's really very, very, very little exploration of, well, this is a mountain. How are we going to paint that mountain? Or here's Arlo. Here's 40 different ways that we could see Arlo. How did they come to these, you know, rubber Gumby-like creatures? Like, what was the evolution in that? We don't know. It's just, these are the ultimate characters and designs and style that we were going for. So here you go. And just, just look at the pretty pictures. Okay, just look. We'll be honest. We love making ofs. Yes. <laughs> we just do. <laughs> I think behind the scenes and the stories that yeah. are able to be told in the behind the scenes art books and making of and bonus featurettes really are what add so much value to me mm -hmm. in these books. So, you know, right away, again, that's something that's just pretty disappointing. Yeah. However, if you really liked The Good Dinosaur and you're like, you know what? I just really love the art in it. The design, everything is beautiful. The rocks and the trees and mountains everywhere. Uh, what are men compared to rocks and mountains? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It's true. It's, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> So if that's something that you love, then you are really going to like this book. I mean, really, there are some pictures in here that I thought, I mean, I counted seven or eight pictures that I was like, I would actually really like to have that picture on my wall because a lot of them were big landscapes of like Montana and Wyoming. And if you really like that type, then you're going to be just falling in love with all of these pictures. And then they'd have like a little dinosaur off in the corner. <laughs> so, I mean, I like that. Yeah. The scenery and the landscape are really the main highlight of this film in yes. general, more so than the dinosaurs themselves is just how breathtaking these landscapes were. And the thing that's such a bummer about this book is they, they do go into such detail about the landscapes, the trees, the scenery, everything's so beautiful. That's the thing that we miss, you know, is the translation of this concept art, you know, beautiful colors, cartoony, broad strokes to photorealistic backgrounds. You know, and again, it's just, I would have liked to have known the reasoning why they did that. I guess that's what the bonus feature is for, not this book. Yeah. But, like I said, I'm going to play devil's advocate. If you're the type that's like, hey, I just want a really cool coffee table book, and I just, it's very flippable, people yes. who... Your friends who aren't Disney, Pixar fans like you and us, they're going to appreciate the fact that they don't really need to read anything. And they're like, oh, yeah, I remember this movie. That was pretty. And they'll be, that's good. And they'll think you're cool because you have an art book of that. Mm -hmm. Hey. So that is a reason why you would buy this book, I believe. I mean, there's a lot of these. Every picture in this book is drawn by hand. 
So that is also one of the mm-hmm. cool things from it. Like, you're not going to get... There's only, like, three or four total of final character renders. Mm-hmm. And it's not even, like, the full, like, screenshots or yeah. anything like that. They they really did put the actual art that created this in there. So going back to kind of what we were talking about before, there isn't a lot of character or design exploration. It's basically that point where they said, this is the final look of the film, you know, and that's from that point on, we see that art. Mm-hmm. Nothing from before, from these like, you know, forgotten days. Yeah. <laughs> we just don't talk about that. We don't talk days. about that. It was only from this final version of the film to, you know, however many months it was before, you know, they ultimately decided this is the final look, let's go with it. It's from that point on that you're going to see in this mm-hmm. book. And it's it's very literal. It's very, uh, in, in a way, uninspired, yeah. I think. But I do like it. It is beautiful. And it's especially landscapes. I think that is the highlight of this whole book is just the landscape and scenery mm-hmm. uh, compared to other art books, which are very, very character heavy. Mm-hmm. For sure. If you are interested in purchasing The Good Dinosaur, I'm sorry, The Art. You want to buy The Dinosaur? Well, he <laughs> died five million sorry. years ago. Sorry. So if you are interested in the art of The Good Dinosaur, we do have two links right down below us where you can go to Amazon or Book Depository, depending on where in the co- where in the world you are and would like to purchase them. We would really appreciate if you purchase them for those because it helps us out and it helps you because we get to get more help art. Us. Yes, help us help you get more art books. All right. Until next time, my name is Chelsea Robson. And I'm Morgan Stradling. And you're watching... The Rotoscopers YouTube. YouTube.